Okay. I'm gonna go over this now. We'll give you an extra day. At least to think about it. Who's with me? Put away your other books. Tune in here. Sierra. So you're going to pick a country from Africa. You're going to create a presentation, uh, Google slide presentation, and make a report. Now, of course, when we do presentations, this is the biggest problem that students have again. Okay? Is reading. First of all, when you do slide presentation, you want to have, like we've talked about before, you want to have the least amount of what? Words. Words as possible. Okay? The words would be on notes that you might have that if you need help with, that you glance at those. But you, again, you don't read the notes. Okay? So when you do a presentation, you have lots of pictures or charts that give out the information quickly. And so I, I bring up a slide, then I just talk about it in a conversational tone, not in a reading monotone tone. Because if you put me to sleep, what's that mean? We should be writing a long line instead. You fell asleep three times in class, so I would not be thought. Okay, you have a minimum of 10 slides. Three of them are already set, preset. One is the fact slide I'll show you here in a second. Two is a map that includes all the map parts. Okay? And three is your bibliography. So all three of those can be, so you only need seven. Okay? But you can see all the different areas you can focus on. For particular, I just threw these up. You don't have to have a slide for every one of these, okay? But that's just a, a reference for you. So that's where it says one of the slides is the completed key facts that I'll show you here in a second. Another sh is the map, and then uh, it has your map should probably be a political map showing major cities, uh, major features. So again. The way your book is set up, every chapter, the very first section of the chapter always deals with what? Physical geography. Physical geography. So you just talk about the maps, you might talk about the climate of your country. Okay, depending on where you are in Africa. Africa is one of the unique in the fact that most countries change from going east to west in terms of climate and physical conditions. Africa actually changes what? North east. From north, north to east. south. Okay? <laughs> so if you're picking a country up here, it's going to be a desert because the Sahara Desert dominates it. Then there's a transition zone in between this area, which is the tropical area. Lots of jungle here. Okay? So this transition zone is called the Sahel. Okay, and then again you have another desert area down here and down South Africa it really has a Mediterranean climate down here. So, and nobody can choose Egypt because we've studied Egypt quite a bit. So you can pick any other country in Africa but Egypt. And there were 54, last count I had, okay, there are 54 different ones unless there's a new country that changed since there what is one that your maps and I don't think your book map has it either Sudan is actually two countries now there's Sudan and there's South Sudan so that's an extra country that, that might not be in your books okay well they agreed to split they, they were at war quite a bit, yeah, because the northern part of Sudan is an Islamic area and the southern part is more Christian. So that was one of the splits, but now they're 
they're having conflict because of resources and oil and who's who's it belong to okay so if you did Sudan you bring that 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 would probably come up in your problems problems don't deal with problems in doing the research this is problems the country faces okay does anybody have questions on this part Logan no people can have the same country no so you're gonna have 20 countries that you're gonna have to know for the map test. This is the only test we're gonna have over Africa, a map test. That's nice. On Wednesday, I will, go, tiny country. I will go over the physical regions that you should have. I'm sorry, but if you don't have the map test, you don't your own country. And Wednesday too, I'll draw the names out. First come, first serve. So you should have several African countries you you're interested in. Okay? So this this is this is the fact sheet. So everybody will at least know some various facts. The only other thing is we're gonna have a hundred point Africa worksheet that has like a hundred questions on it. Only a hundred questions. The good news of that I'm gonna let you go with the partner so you only have to do half of the fifty four each. Well, it depends who your partner is. We have to do like all of them. Okay? Does this make sense? Does anybody have a question about this? So basically, over distance learning, you're finishing these up. We might try, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how could we do a presentation. If you had two computers, we could do, we could make them uh, a flip grid. But I don't think Flipgrid doesn't allow you to show your screen, does it? No. No. I think so. No. But like share? Yeah. Suddenly But if you had one, you could present it on Flipgrid by just showing it on a, another computer. Or just print out the signs. Or your phone. <laughs> Except some of you, when you were showing stuff on the Flipgrid last time, you didn't have the mirror image on, so you you were showing your things backwards. Yeah. It was okay. Like your bills, your your title page, your bill. Most of you were showing those backwards. I don't like mirror. Okay. Oh, I'll go this way. I'll go that way. The reason I'd rather do that is because I would like not to have to go take. Uh, several class periods did to do the presentations. So I might get bonus minutes. points to somebody that does do it on Flipgrid. How many? I, know. Okay. Flipgrid. I need those bonus points because I just mess up. Then you just redo. That's true. Yeah, but if we it mess up, but again, to do Flipgrid, what? you're going to have to have two devices. Well, I got that. Yes. Everybody understand that? That's really yeah. Yeah. Right now, I haven't created I have a Flipgrid. Okay. So Wednesday. People at home, distance learners, Wednesday then, where I'm going to draw names out. So that's our Zoom meeting. So you should be ready to Zoom in. If you don't Zoom in, then you're going to get last choice on countries.